lean in too far because then you're committed. That's one of the worst feelings in the world to be mid cheek kiss lean in and see her hand come up for a handshake. Then it's like May Day in your head. Grab her hand and kiss that. Pretend you're falling. Punch her. And when you're caught in that situation, what I find that works is just keep leaning in and whisper something in her ear. Like that was the plan all along. Married or single, when it comes to women, I'm a doof. Which is why when a bunch of my friends are sitting around talking and the conversation, as it inevitably does, turns to past sexual escapades, I always get snacks. I don't have much to contribute to that discussion. And the question will always come up, how many? The old how many question. What blows my mind every time is when some guys ask how many, and his first response is, let me see. Let me see? What the hell is he saying let me see for? Let me see is something you say when somebody asks you to try and name all the presidents. But let me see in response to the how many question? See, right there, I know I'm in over my head. I don't need time to search the memory banks. It's a very simple number. I wear it on my softball uniform. Now, I'm not going to come right out and tell you what it is. I don't think you need to know. But look, you're taking the time to listen, so if it's of any interest to you, here's a hint. My how many number happens to be one less than the number of times I've been stung by a bee. Does that help you at all? No. Think about how many times you've been stung by a bee. Unless you're a beekeeper, you're probably laughing at me. Stop. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. Matter of fact, in today's immoral society, I think I'm refreshing. <laughs> At least that's what I tell myself to stop the crying. <laughs> hey, look, if you want to play this game a little more, I'm in. You don't scare me. Here, here you go. Knock yourself out, tough guy. My how many number is also less than the number of times I've thrown up. There you go. About standing right here. Um, you want another? I've been to a bris more times than my how many number. Okay? Okay, now don't get all full of yourself. Papa Bear did have a little honey. Matter of fact, try this on. My how many number is greater than the number of times I put a pet to sleep. So there you go. You kind of kind of know where I stand, and I've still managed to keep a little air of mystery about the whole thing. <laughs> and you know what? Well, what the hell? Why not throw in a little bonus round? My how many number is exactly equal to the number of times I've been crapped on by a bird. Uh -huh. Hey, uh, play along and prove a little clear your mind. See how long it takes you to remember where you were during one of the greatest accomplishments in history, man walking on the moon. Now do the same thing for where you were when a bird crapped on you. Zero. See what I'm saying? All right, anyway, back to sex. Now that I'm married with kids, I, I've reached a whole other not having sex dynamic. I mean, the opportunity is always there, but the motivation is sometimes lacking. And, and that's not just me, it's my wife too. We want to be in the mood, it's just so hard to get there after a long day of work and the kids. Of course, my single friends... Is this, uh, what is this, Mako Lake again? You know what you do, right? Yeah, you go to the adult section of the pond, video folks. store and pick out one of those movies. Nope, sorry. First of all, it's hard to find the time to do that with all the kids around. And even once they're all asleep, it's tough to stay in the mood to watch one of those movies when you have to go to the VCR and eject Thumbelina. Another bit of advice I hear is, Ray, why don't you and her just get a babysitter and go to a motel room? Once again, shut up, single friend. Those motels make very little sense when you're married. First of all, you're giving up one of the big perks of marriage, which is not having to pay expenses for sex. Secondly, when you go to one, they charge you for a minimum of four hours. Four hours! Now, come on. And this question goes out to all men. Who needs a room for four hours? If we ever did go to one of those places, I'd go right to the front desk and lay it on the line. I want a 20-minute room. That's right, a 20-minute room. It's got to have a TV. Don't look at me funny, pal. We're married. Do you have a drive through Because we both know what we want. <laughs> Look, even when I was single, four hours was an unrealistic fantasy. 
Yeah, sure, it's a goal. You, you start out with high hopes. In your head, you're always talking a good game. Oh, man, this they should put a number on my back right now because this is going to be a marathon. I'm going to mm -hmm. need someone to bring me cups of water in the middle of this. Man. I should get sponsors. But oh, it never turns out that way. As soon as you're out of the blocks, your marathon dreams are over, and you go right to the scores table to transfer yourself into the 100-yard dash. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. You don't have enough discipline to pace yourself. You think you're staying within your boundaries, but you always end up going that one move too far. That's what gets you every time, that one move. It's always the one move. Of course, you make a futile attempt okay, to try and save the whole thing. Well, oh, honey, hey, freeze! Help us Don't do anything. Don't go, breathe! Go towards no, Fabric you Fair. You, it's not my fault. You clearly exhaled. Okay, so don't tell me four hours. Look, if a guy's ever telling you a four-hour sex story with a straight face, just feel sorry for him. Not for lying to you, but for lying to himself. Matter of fact, stop him right in the middle of the story and just hug him. Nine times out of ten, he'll just break down and cry. He knows you know. That's the problem with men. We like to brag. And it all comes from the same place, insecurity. Men feel the need to constantly hey, protect the macho image. Buy, That's why if you, you get the guy telling you a four-hour sex story, a hug, he would throw his old macho 